Hi guys, Steve Good here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. I got an email today uh, from Debbie in Texas, and she asked a question that I was uh, about to send a reply to, and I got to thinking that maybe some other people out there uh, might like to uh, hear the answer that I have for this question also, and also I'll throw it out to any of the readers out there that if you have a better way to do what I'm going to talk about tonight, uh, feel free to let me know and I'll try to pass it along. And in part, what she asked was, she says, uh, I need to ask you a question. What is the best way to put those big paper pattern pullouts that are in creative woodworks and crafts on the computer? I mostly do ornaments and I have all the uh, magazines back to 1996 with these patterns. Could you tell me the way you would do it? And she goes on to say, I have accumulated lots of patterns and need to have them organized in some way. And the big papers are beginning to tear and turn yellow. And I've thought about this uh, in the past myself. And to be honest with you, I've started it a couple times. But because it's a pretty big project, I actually never finished it. So I thought about it a little bit tonight. And uh, just going to show you the way I have tried to do it before. And I'll show you the way I do it. Uh, okay. Uh, again, we're going to talk about scanning those uh, printed patterns into your computer to keep them organized. And, of course, to do that, you're going to need a scanner. And this is a picture of the scanner that I use. It's an HP 1315. A couple years old. I spent less than $100 for it. And uh, it's functioned real well for me. So you're going to need a, a, a printer of some type or a scanner of some type. In this case it's an all-in-one printer, scanner, copier. And you're going to need a file viewer to organize all these scans that you're going to be making. And the one I recommend to use is a free one called Urfan View. And uh, you can download this at www.urfanview.com and I'll put a link in the post on the website uh, so you can see it. The other thing you're going to need is lots of time because uh, scanning on all these ornaments that they put in these magazines can definitely take a lot of time. And now real quick I'm going to jump over to uh, this website walmart.com and show you that uh, on their website right now they have an all-in-one uh, printer, copier, printer, and uh, scanner for $34. So for this project uh, that we're talking about tonight, you're not going to need uh, a very expensive scanner. Uh, almost any of these scanners are going to do well enough to do what we're talking about tonight. Okay, now I'm going to move over to my particular printer has scanning software with it and so will yours when you buy one and this happens to be what mine looks like. Now this is for the HP and uh, again whatever printer that you buy will you'll have the drivers installed and the uh, scanning software is probably going to look different. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it in my software and then you can figure it out from there. So in this one I'm going to select from scanner down here and it will bring up the select source box and in this case I've got a camera installed and I don't want to use that. I want to use the 1310 series Twain uh, scanner. So I'll select that and that will bring up my scanning software. Comes up it will go ahead and pre-scan the image that I've placed on the platinum glass on the scanner. So you can see it's, it's going ahead and bringing in a preview of what's on the glass right now. And this just happens to be one of those pullouts out of the Creative Woodworking and Crafts magazine that Debbie was talking about. Now what it does is it puts these handles up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these handles and I'm going to move them to size this scanned area around this bottom ornament down here. And once I get it basically you know, surrounding the ornament I want to scan, I'm going to go ahead and hit accept. And now what it will do is it will go ahead and scan that into my scanning software. And this will take just a minute here. And when it finishes, it will give me the option to do another scan. And uh, you know, when you put this, these large patterns on the platen glass, of course, you're going to have to fold them to get them to fit. So what I'm going to do is scan this small area right here, and that will scan that first pattern in. And then we'll move this bounding box to the next ornament and scan the next one. And we'll just continue to do that until we get all the scans uh, that we need on this particular pullout. Now in this case it's asked me do I want to do another one. I'm going to hit yes. I'm just going to take this bounding box and move it up and surround this other ornament and hit accept. And it'll scan the next one in. And we're just going to repeat this process over and over until we get all the ornaments on this pullout scan. Now after I do the three that you can see on the screen right now, of course I'm going to have to unfold the paper, you know, and uh, select a different set of ornaments and then keep scanning. I'm going to go ahead and let this finish up here. 
and then I'll show you how I organize the patterns uh, on my computer when I do this. Now in this case it's going to ask me do I want to do another one and I'm going to say no and that'll take me back to my scanning software and it will bring those two ornaments that we just scanned in into the directory that we have set up. Now in this case it's in my documents down under my scans. Okay, So now this program right here would allow me to view these thumbnails but I don't like it very well so what I do is I use a freeware program called Irfan View and it's basically a thumbnail viewer and when I over here bring up the thumbnail viewer when I select the um, directory where the scanned images are you can see I can now view the thumbnails of those two ornaments we just scanned in and I like this because I could go through and rename all these and just look at them in a list view or I can actually just uh, scroll through the different patterns and see them visually and I also have the option up here to select the thumbnail options and I can change the sizes so I could take this all the way down to a size of 50 by 50 for very small thumbnails but uh, because I'm trying to organize these in a way that I can see them real well I usually select somewhere around 300 by 300 in the thumbnail viewer and that way I can scroll through these uh, ornaments and see them very easily and select the ones I want and at that point I can also click on these images and print them right out of this software so this is I think the absolute best way to organize uh, the ornaments on those pullouts and there's literally hundreds of those um, if you do take that magazine or buy that magazine, the pre-Christmas uh, issue usually comes with a couple hundred of these ornaments, and, and they're really good. The guys that turn them in do a really good job on them. So I hope that answers uh, your question, Debbie, and maybe for some of the others out there that have been looking for a way to scan and organize all these patterns, I think this is a good way to do it. Okay, hope everybody enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit off topic, but uh, it was something that I thought might be of interest to at least a few people out there. So please visit my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.